Chiefs and maybe Taylor Swift at the Vikings on Sunday. Buy or sell, the Chiefs offense will find its groove against the Vikings defense. Oh, I'll buy that. Uh, because, look, eventually, I don't care what defense is on the other side of the field. Uh, Kansas City's offense is going to find its groove. And this is all about, Mike, after you have lost, okay, in the course of two years, after you have lost Tyreek Hill, Juju Smith-Schuster, McCole Hardman, and after you have to sort of say, okay, Marquez Valtez, Scandling, Sky Moore, uh, we need you right now to supplement Travis Kelsey as our absolute go-to guys. And that's what they're working through right now. It doesn't, you get spoiled by Mahomes, but that kind of stuff, when you lose so many go-to guys so quickly, you can say, ah, we're working out in the off season, but it's going to take time during the season. It will come. And I will not be surprised if they put a 35 burger on the Vikings this weekend. One of the fascinating things about the Chiefs, even though they compete for championships, they're in it every year, five straight years hosting the AFC Championship, they are prone to having their foot slip off the gas pedal. Up 17 nothing, they let the Jets get back into it, and they ended up winning the game, but it was enough of a wake-up call that I, do, I agree with you. They're going to find their groove against the Vikings because they, they're going to feel like they lost on Sunday night, even though they ultimately won. The Giants felt like they lost because they lost badly. 24-3, to three, and it felt worse than that on Monday Night Football. Here is Giants defensive coordinator Wink Martindale on his next challenge, preparing for the high-flying Miami Dolphins offense. My wife uh, called me last night before she went to bed. She she's said she was worried about me. She said, are you getting any sleep? I said, yeah, I'm sleeping like a baby. Every two hours I wake up and cry and you know, <laughs> go to the bathroom and try to go back and get some more sleep. Uh, I mean, that's that's unbelievable. I told our guys, not not the players, I told our staff, because uh, we're all old enough to remember the greatest show on turf. This is like that 2023 supersonic. I mean, they're fast, faster than that. You know, that's so but compelling, for Mike. Mike yeah. I, I think what Wink Martindale said is so incredibly accurate because I've thought about that a couple of times this year. I've thought about that speed, and I've thought about Isaac Bruce, Torrey Holt, Oz Hakeem. I've thought Marshall Falk out of the backfield. He's not a burner, but he's fast enough. And I have really thought about that because that's exactly what this team is. After last week, or after two weeks ago, remember, NFL Next Gen Stats put out a stat in which they've said the six fastest speeds this year in games in the first four weeks of the season have all been posted by Miami Dolphins players. And so this is really what we're seeing. I think Wink Martindale absolutely is correct. And, and I think it's one of the reasons why you know, I'll tell you what we're going to see on Sunday because Mike McDaniel knows this. You see when Miami plays a team that it doesn't play that often, they go into motion like all the time. <clears throat> and the reason is that every team comes into a game against Miami and said, hey, we got to hit these guys at the line of scrimmage. We got to take their speed away from them. Well, they put Tyree Kill in motion a lot, so you can't hit him at the line. He's too fast. He's got a running start. It's like when they play football in the CFL and you can play, you can run, you know, it, it, the only difference in the CFL, you can actually run toward the line of scrimmage. But but anyway, I, I think this is going to be a Herculean task for a bad team in the New York Giants. So fill in the blank, Peter, the Giants will respond to the embarrassing week four loss to the Seahawks by blank versus the Dolphins doing nothing different than we've seen so far other than maybe maybe taking Daniel Bellinger or Daniel Waller and basically making them a sixth offensive lineman in this game because they have to protect Daniel Jones better Mike I've got this is the oddest stat not oddest but the most telling stat of this season for me 
So the New York Giants and the Dallas Cowboys. You wouldn't say the Cowboys are the best offense in football right now, but you'd say they're top five, six, seven offense in football right now. At least I would say that. So in the 16 quarters so far this year that the Cowboys have played, they have been scoreless in zero of the 16 quarters. In the 16 quarters that the Giants have played this year, they are scoreless in 10 of them. And you look at that and you say, ah, you know, weird stat, whatever. But if you've actually watched the New York Giants, I think you're kind of surprised it's not scoreless in 13 quarters because their offense is awful. They can't block anybody. And Daniel Jones is making bad decisions under pressure. I agree with you, Mike. I don't blame Daniel Jones, but the 97 yard picks pick six by Devin Witherspoon son, uh, Monday night. That was, that was a bad decision by Daniel Jones. So I'm not blaming him for the fiasco because he's got no protection but I'm going to blame him a little bit for the fiasco. Well, and look, by the time that he's trying to figure out is Darren Waller open in the back of the end zone, the clock in his head is so accelerated. What's he, what's he to do? They're swarming him constantly all night long. Yeah. I felt bad for him. I think the giants, I think the giants, for those of you out there inclined to wager, I think the giants are going to cover the spread and the spread has gone from 11 yesterday to 12 and a half today. The money is on the dolphins. It's very easy to come to the conclusion. The dolphins are going to kick the crap out of them, but at a certain point, pride comes into play. At a certain point, you're going to see greater effort because they've been hearing it all week from Wink Martindale. They've been hearing it all week from Brian Dayball. I think we're going to see a better Giants team. Not enough to win, but enough to keep it closer than 12 and a half points. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.